but this is why it's difficult for me as an autistic person to socialize with neurotypical people. But generally when they together, they tend to tell jokes and of course I don't get the joke, I don't get the punchlines and what I have to do is try to ask them to explain it to me, what's the funny part, why is that funny, because it doesn't make sense. And by the time I kind of get what it is, everybody's moved on and it's not even funny anymore and I've spoiled the whole mood because I'm like, hey, I, I, I don't understand. So in the same way, when people are telling normal stories, especially stories involving people and things and whatever, mostly I don't follow their logic and how they're explaining the stories and I'm totally confused what they're saying. So what I'm doing, I'm interrupting and asking questions to get understanding and then everybody's like, can't you just fucking wait? You're so rude, stop interrupting, give us a chance to explain. If you wait till the end, you'll get it. But what I don't get is because if I don't follow something, I'm lost. I don't can't follow further. I'm just twisting around in my head at that confusing point. Then the third thing is that I have very narrow interests. And when I want to start talking about my interests, nobody's fucking interested. It's like, what the fuck is he talking about? That's like so boring. Everybody's bored. So so now how do how do we fix that situation? Firstly, they expect or people expect me to fucking just understand the jokes, which I just can't understand the jokes. Secondly, I have to just shut up when I'm confused and say nothing and be confused and just nod and say, yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. So in this case, it's like pointless being there. So, and the third thing is just like, why do I have such boring interests? I should have the interest that everybody's interested in. And uh, I guess from my experience, um, I can't find any solution to that.